Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Lexis and this is Nam Nam to Fitness. So today I'm going to be showing you some three easy meals that I made this week. These recipes are perfect because a lot of people are quarantined in their homes and these are just simple ingredients. A lot of people already have them in their house, hopefully. But if not, they're not ingredients that are hard to find. And I try to make the recipes as healthy as possible because I am on a fitness journey and I am trying to, you know, get fit and toned and just feel good inside and out. So that is why I make plant-based recipes. And let's get into it. So for the first meal, I made some chickpea curry and some vegetables. So I'm starting off by making the chickpea curry. I'm sauteing one small yellow onion and a half a red pepper. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And I'm just seasoning it with some sea salt and some black pepper. I'm adding in two tablespoons of curry powder and one teaspoon of ground cumin. This is just me adding in a little bit more oil. I'm adding in a teaspoon of minced garlic and a half cup of salsa. And I ended up adding one fourth cup of coconut milk and now I'm just covering it up with some veggie broth adding in two cans of rinse and drain chickpeas and I'm just adding more veggie broth until everything's covered and I put the lid on it and I let it simmer for about 20 minutes until it thickened and for the sweet potatoes I'm just slicing them into circles And I'm adding them to an aluminum pan and I'm adding some ground cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, some coconut oil, and some agave. You can use any liquid sweetener you like. I gave that a mix and I baked it at 425 until they were tender, so about 30 or 40 minutes. And when they were done, I just sprinkled a little bit of sea salt on the top and that was it. Next, I just added some mushrooms to the pan. I used Baby Bella's, and I also had some oyster mushrooms left over. So I just tossed those in there, and I seasoned it with some sea salt and some black pepper, and that is it. Kale, I just added some into a skillet. Then I added some veggie broth, a little bit of salt, pepper, minced garlic, and a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Just covered that and let it cook down for about 20 to 30 minutes. Next, I made some Asian style mushrooms. So I'm using these whole portobello mushrooms and I'm just slicing them into strips. So I added some grapeseed oil to a pan and I'm just sauteing one small yellow onion. And once this browns, I'm gonna remove it from the pan and then add the portobello mushrooms. So I'm seasoning it with some sea salt and some black pepper, and I'm going to gently mix it up. And now I'm putting it back in place, and I'm going to place a cast iron skillet on top of it so it can get nice and crispy. And I let it cook for about 5 minutes on medium heat, then I flip it over and I put the skillet back on top. And I just repeat this until all my mushrooms are cooked. Next for the sauce, I'm adding this gochujang. You can find this in the Asian section of your supermarket. So I'm adding two tablespoons of gochujang, two tablespoons of agave. You can use pure maple syrup or any liquid sweetener you like. Four tablespoons of brown sugar. I don't know why I'm using my hands right here. I'm adding four tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of vegetable oil a sprinkle of pepper, and a half teaspoon of chili flakes. And I like this sauce because you don't have to add 
cornstarch so it can thicken because the agave already makes it thick. And I made some rice. I'm just adding some sea salt, some black pepper, garlic powder, and a teaspoon of olive oil. Now I'm adding the onions and mushrooms back into the pan and I'm pouring some of the sauce on it. Depending on how many mushrooms you have, you just want to add a little bit of sauce at a time. You don't want it to be too saucy and you can always add more to your dish later anyway. I'm telling you, this is delicious. I know there's some strange people out there that don't like mushrooms. Maybe they're not making it right, but this is so good. Oh my god. It tastes like it came from a legit Asian restaurant. Mm. I love how the sweetness and the savoriness combine with the brown sugar, the gochujang, the garlic it just all comes together in this dish. Mushrooms have to be my favorite meat substitute. So for the next dish, I made a creamy pasta with bow tie noodles. I'm sauteing some diced onions, red and green peppers, and some leftover portobello mushrooms. And I seasoned this with some sea salt and some black pepper. And I added one teaspoon of minced garlic towards the end. Now I'm adding in one cup of unsweetened almond milk and a half cup of coconut milk. I'm sprinkling in some black pepper, some garlic powder, this umami seasoning that I got from Trader Joe's. This is optional but I like to add it in. And two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Then I covered it and I let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Then I added in my bow tie noodles. I normally use chickpea pasta because it's just better for you, but I didn't have any, so I'm just using some bow tie noodles. Not complaining. And that is it. It's delicious topped with some vegan Parmesan cheese. You can even add some you know, vegan sausage into here. I've done it that way before. This pasta is actually very versatile. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the recipes that I made. If you do make them, feel free to tag me at Nom Nom to Fitness on Twitter, on Instagram, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.